Let's talk about syncing and sourcing devices. I've got an NPN proximity sensor and a PNP proximity sensor, and we're going to tie those to a PLC, a programmable logic controller. Let's start with the NPN. They consider that syncing, negative logic, open collector, normally high. We take our NPN proximity sensor and we take the brown lead and we tie that to the common on the PLC and we make that positive. We take our negative and we tie that to the blue lead on the proximity sensor and the black goes to the input. So if we look at it this way, we have our positive going to the common and the negative is switched to the PLC input. The sensor is considered syncing and the PLC is, is sourcing. Let's look at, look at a uh, end channel FET. For there we will take the positive and we tie that to our load and then the FET brings us to, to ground. It pulls us down to ground. Syncing provides a path to ground. We'll take a look at a PNP. They consider that sourcing, positive logic, open emitter, normally low. So for this one here, we take the, the blue lead and we tie that to the common on the PLC and we make that negative. We take the brown lead and we tie that to the positive and the black goes into the input. So here we are here, we have the negative tied to the common and we have the positive being switched to the input on the PLC. The sensor is sourcing and the PLC is syncing. If we take a look at the uh, P-type, um, FET, we have our positive tied directly to the source on the FET, and then the drain is tied to the, to the load. So sourcing provides a path to positive voltage. Now I've got a, I've got a PLC set up here. I took this one apart. It has the, uh, this is just the front end of it. Let's see if we can look at this thing. So it's got inputs 1, 2, 3, and 4, then a common, 5, 6, 7, 8, a common, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then it has two commons, and uh, 13, 14, 15, and 16, and two more commons. Take that off so you can see it. Here it is here. So I've got, this is my uh, NPN unit. Now, I've got the brown one tied right to the common, and then it's tied to this positive lead here. This is positive coming in. The black lead goes to the input. This is the input number 16, and the blue lead is tied to the negative over here. So if I bring metal up to it, you can see the input light lights up. Now, this is my PNP. And for this one here, we're taking the, the blue lead and we're tying it to the common, and the common is tied to the negative side, this green lead here. The black one, of course, goes to the input, and the brown one will go to our positive lead here. So there, that's the input right there. So that turns on. And this unit here has got two different commons or four different commons, so we can do this. If it had one common, we wouldn't be able to, uh, to, to. Now, we're able to do this on this, this PLC because it has uh, positive and negative logic inputs. You can see this here. This is a diagram here. The LED has, it's got two LDs on, in, the, in the one. It'll light up in either direction and same with the uh, photo cell here, the photocoupler here. It's got uh, two, LD, two LD LEDs in there, and it'll light in either direction. So this unit here will work on positive or negative logic inputs. It goes either way. Some of the units aren't like that. Some are just hooked up with uh, PLC, a digital input for the PLC. It's just a, a, a single LED. So you can only have a positive input here coming in. So you have to know what type of uh, PLC you have to work with, but this positive and negative logic works great for hooking up either either type. This one here is, uh, this has got imp uh, 110 volt inputs. Not too good on these. 
you have to have an interfacing relay to use with those. But that's uh, NPN and PNP devices and syncing and sourcing. Thank you.